No matter where you are in life, BCFR support coordinators will be there to help you in achieving your life goals. They are familiar with resources across the lifespan and will make sure that you get connected to the support you need to enable you to thrive in the community. Our mission at BCFR is to enable individuals with developmental disabilities to thrive in the community, connect with others, and achieve their personal goals. Now let's hear from an SE who currently serves school-aged youth. I'm a support coordinator here at Boone County Family Resources. I specialize in transition planning, so I primarily work with teenagers and their families preparing for life after high school. At the first plan meeting, what the individual and their family should expect is primarily working on building rapport. I'm, I'm a new individual to them, so you know, I'm gonna ask lots of questions about the individual's interest, things that are important to the individual and their family. And then from there, we'll dive into the individual's strengths, support needs, and services and resources that we can possibly access to help them. The Individual Service Plan, or as we like to call it the ISP, is a required document um, mandated by the Missouri Division of Developmental Disabilities. I like to think of it as a roadmap that we use to support our clients and their families. It breaks down the individual strengths, support needs, goals, and then that's what we focus on to, you know, look at services and resources that we can utilize to help them. Some of the services that we might assist the individual and family in accessing could be employment services, behavior support services, respite. We can also assist those who are eligible and in need for obtaining some self-care supplies, assistive technology devices. Quite often, I also link a lot of my clients to the Life and Work Connections program. That's a department within our agency that can really assist our teen and adult clients with building skills, employment services, and a variety of other things. After the first meeting, um, I will periodically check in with the individual and the family just to, you know, make sure things are going well, see how school is going, see how those new services are going that we potentially are funding. Certainly the individual and the family can reach out to me at any time if they have questions or concerns about services, supplies, if they're needing some additional resources. It's just a give and take based on, you know, what the individual and their family is needing. Before the first meeting, I would recommend that the individual and the family sit down and possibly even write down the questions that they might have for me in terms of what BCFR can provide, ways we can assist the family, as well as I would encourage them to think about what are their goals? You know, what is the individual wanting to achieve, either short term or long term? What are the family's goals in terms of safety, um, independence? I, I would highly encourage that and then they can bring that information to that first meeting and we can develop a good support plan. The number one thing I would recommend is communication. If the individual and the family is communicating with us, that better helps us help them. So alerting us to any updates, you know, for example, I often get great news. A lot of my clients get their driver's license. That's very exciting. And then maybe we can focus on another goal that's focused on further independence. Um, but really communication is the key. Now that you've been found eligible, you'll be receiving a letter in the mail and a phone call from your support coordinator. The next step is to set up the initial meeting, which may take place at the BCFR office or at your home. We'll be flexible with your schedule. Our goal is to meet you within 30 days after you receive your letter. At the initial meeting, an individual service plan will be created, which will help link you to the services for the upcoming year. You will also be provided more information about what it means to be connected with BCFR and how they can help support you. If you have any questions or are unsure who your support coordinator is, please contact the main office line and you'll be directed to your support coordinator. The phone number is 573-874-1995.
BCFR's goal is to provide ongoing support to individuals and their families to achieve the life they want to live.